I'm Martin Mendez. I'm the CEO of Neoris. We are an IT consulting company, mm -hmm. so we try to bring technology to, to our customers mm -hmm. um, and make sure that they use it in, in the right way in order to, to achieve their goals. Mm -hmm. um, that is what we do. Mm -hmm. and, and my role is trying to, to understand where we can add value to, to the ecosystem, so to our customers using the technology and knowing our people and mm -hmm. making all the things go in the same in, in the direction that we think it's better. Mm -hmm. My family came from, uh, and from my, my grandfather used to be a, an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. He created a, a media company in Rosario. Mm -hmm. So I started loving the idea of creating value, creating the jobs, and uh, making business. Mm -hmm. uh, so I decided to, to go for business administration when, uh, at college. Mm -hmm. uh, and afterwards, um, as soon as I finished the school, we decided to, to create a, a company mm -hmm. that its name was Amtech, um, Amtech.net. And uh, at that time we were, it was the internet, um, the inter the, the, it was the beginning of internet in 96. Okay. So we decided to be the e-builders of the internet at that time. And we started the company uh, in that way. Okay. And in year 2000, we sold the company to Semex. Mm -hmm. And there were the story of Neori starts in the year 2000. So I have been here in the, in the company since the beginning. We were helping the dot com companies oh, okay. uh, go online yes. through the web pages, through e commerce, all the, the new technology at that time that was internet. Mm -hmm. How to do business in the, in the internet. I remember it was yet 96, 97, 98. As so always, I think that is the challenge that we face is to to create a vision mm -hmm. and to align our people towards that vision, mm -hmm. and that the vision is powerful enough to also at the same time create value for for our customers. Mm -hmm. So I think the most difficult thing in an organization is how to to identify that spot and make sure that uh, people believe in that and goes uh, towards that. And mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, uh, you, in that vision, you are able to create uh, enough value to be interested and to, to, especially to differentiate from your competitors uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, within the market that you are, you are yeah. playing. Ba basically, what, what we are seeing is that the IT consulting is changing. Um, we were coming from uh, an, an e era, 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 yes. era where um, most of the IT consulting companies were listening to what customers were wanting. Uh, so you were having well-educated customers uh, asking for specific services. So they already knew what they wanted. Yeah, they were new in what they wanted. So the industry became very commoditized. Mm -hmm. And so what we are seeing is that there's, there's, there's a space for un really understanding our customer's business mm -hmm. in deep knowledge and understand very deep also the technologies and try to, 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 to put that technology into those customer processes. Once you do that, then you go and offer those values to your customer instead of just listening to what they, they think that they, they can do with the, with the technology. Mm -hmm. So we go for uh, now Internet of Things, that is something that is changing. Mm -hmm. So and we go for the construction industry and say, you can apply all these technologies in this and, and such a way. Instead of uh, uh, waiting them to understand what is Internet of Things, Mm -hmm. means and how they can apply it to, to, to add. Okay. And so you need to narrow your, your scope and start thinking on fewer industries and 
uh, few technologies at the same time, no? because technology is very broad and mm. many industries at the same time. In the past, most of the, the services were given in a, or what we call onshore ways when we are face to face. And uh, since new technology appeared, like the internet and communications, and that gave uh, companies the opportunity to, to work not just in the same place, but from, from distances. Okay. So on the opposite, you have of onshore, you have uh, offshore, mm -hmm. where the model of the Indian companies are working on. Mm -hmm. And then you have nearshore, that is, is a model that is related to the US and Latin America. Mm -hmm. where you have the same time zone, the cultural differences are okay. uh, fewer and languages and uh, uh, culture things are much easier to handle. No? And you are much closer. No? If, you come, if you do near shore uh, from Mexico to, to the US, it's, it's, it's a two one hour flight. No? Healthcare is an industry that uh, have, is, have been growing a lot and then have been professionalized in the in the past the past years, uh, it used to be like a few doctors joined together and created a, a hospital, mm -hmm. and that hospital was operating uh, standalone. Mm -hmm. Now what we are seeing is companies that are going or are creating networks of hospitals. They they work integrated, and, and it's not just given one specialty of services, but many, mm -hmm. and they have different type of centers where you can. Uh, get treat, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Um, so we were we developed platforms to support the, that integration of uh, uh, new networks of hospitals oh. and how you, you how these hospitals are, are going to be able to handle the medical history of their patients regardless of where uh, is it that they go mm -hmm. and obviously how to add administer all those um, networks together, those hospitals together mm -hmm. as a network. We are collecting a lot of information. Okay. Um, and the real challenge right now is how to use that information that we are collecting in order to have a more preventing healthcare system rather than a reactive one. Okay. Uh, so instead of uh, having your patient that came with something happen is try to be closer to them uh, in order to to prevent those illnesses that, that, that may occur. It's much cheaper to to treat patients when they are not ill yes. than when they are. So there's, uh, for example, if if you start seeing that your based on your parents or grandparents there are some tendencies you can start working on that, and, uh, or if you are the uh, patient that needs to have um, home care treatments, you, you, you can have all that information in, in, in a centralized way for, mm -hmm. for him too. What I've seen, at least in the countries that I lived, is yeah. the, you have a non-profit, let's say, is the government taking care of the health care, yeah. and then you have for-profit yeah. uh, organizations. and. Uh, In Latin America, at least, the, um, the, the for-profit or the, 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 organ the for-profit organizations, I think that they are delivering uh, better services than the public one. You think? Yeah, in Latin America. Not, don't know about the. Ah, okay. Here in the state, it's different. When you go to school, the public schools are very good. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have that in, in Latin America. Till now, we are not able to transport things okay. with the, as in the Star Trek, uh, <laughs> where you were like disintegrating something <laughs> and building in. Yeah. But maybe in the future we will have that. No? <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, said that, I think that the, with, the con with the knowledge that we have right now, we still need to move things. And uh, so it's always logistics going to be important part of uh, our day life. And uh, so having the chance to improve that, it, I think it will improve uh, people's life. And uh, here, what you see in the US compared to, to Latin America is the, the, the visibility and traceability of, of, of the um, transportation system is, is very good. I think that is an, uh, it's a, it's a strength point that uh, Florida and Miami has. Uh, when they say that they are going to deliver 
something one day and a specific range of hours, they usually uh, accomplish that. So, right. and, and, and one of the things that, for example, Amazon model is it, it's, uh, so successful here in, Am in the Amazon. Amazon, yeah. Amazon yeah. yeah. It's due to logistics. Yeah. And when you go to, um, for example, Latin America, you don't have that. So it's, it's, I think it's, it's difficult from, from that point of view.